In this lesson, we're going to model the spoiler for our car. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with modeling the spoiler. We're going to make this pretty easy on ourselves. We're going to use some existing geometry that we've already built on the trunk, and this will give us a good starting place for that spoiler. So if I go to my left view um, and I hit Alt X, let me go ahead and deselect that. You can see that my spoiler comes up to right about this area right here. Okay? And so actually let's go up to here. Let's select these polygons right here. And I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to drag those up off of that. We're going to actually clone this to its own object and we're going to call this spoiler and hit enter. Turn off polygon mode and then select that object and you'll notice that it no longer has a turbo smooth modifier attached to it um, and um, it's just a regular piece of geometry. Now before we do anything let's go ahead and go to our top view and let's set up the position of our vertices for the spoiler. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back um, to the edge here of that and if you find it difficult to see through the uh, the car model what you can do is just simply select it and then right click and hide selection and then come in and you can start working on that spoiler we don't necessarily need the spoil or uh, need the body at this point uh, we've already gotten everything that we need from it uh, at least for this part anyway so we're going to bring this down we're going to start to curve these up a little bit and I'm going to bring those up together. And there we go. Okay. Let's take these vertices right here and let's turn on edge constraint and let's pull those over to the right and just try to get the polygons about the same size like this. All right. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and go to our left view. And now what we need to do is we need to get the point on this. Okay. And so you can select all of these vertices right here in the center and you can pull those straight up. Okay, so if I pull those straight up, let's make sure we turn our constraints off. If we pull those straight up, we'll match that shape there. Now we'll have to pull down each individual uh, set of vertices to match that slope. So the first two should be fairly close, and then the, we'll get these three here. So you should get a slope just like that. Um, take some time if you need to, just to kind of um, modify the overall shape that it gives you. Okay, even on the back end here. Making sure that flow is nice and neat. And then I'm going to take these vertices and I'm going to pull those up until they meet my reference image. Okay, and I'm just going to do this one at a time. And then I'm going to pull this up and then this actually needs to come back. And we'll do the same thing with this. And this. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have so far. It's pretty basic. I mean, it's nothing really all that special. I want to go ahead and take this edge, hold shift, and drag it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to vertex mode and right click and target weld this new point to the old one. So that way we create a quad here on the outside edge. Okay, just like that. And then um, let's go ahead and build kind of this little lip right off the top of that. This can be done a couple of different ways. The first way is to double click that edge right across the top and use chamfer. And what chamfer will do is it will uh, split the selected edge into however many segments we tell it. So with one, it's going to split it into two. If we set our chamfer amount up to two, you'll see two edges, but it leaves the existing there. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and we'll round it off just like that and then hit OK. Now the real thing that you need to worry about at this point is going ahead and cutting your uh, mesh and quadrifying it. So we need to make sure that we cut this down and then we'll take this one and we'll cut that across. Okay, just like that. So now uh, that we have that we can come in and we can apply a turbo smooth to it. And you'll see that that begins to smooth out. It's staying nice and rigid. And it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and um, unhide everything. So right click, unhide all. And so there's our spoiler. Let's hit Alt X on both of those and let's just kind of take a look at how that's sitting on there. Now you'll see that it's not sitting right on top of our trunk. 
So we still need to do just a little bit of shaping uh, to all of this. We want it to fit, okay, just the way it is, but it's just not uh, complete just yet. So let's go to edge mode and let's take these edges and then I'm going to deselect that edge there and let's hold shift and let's drag it straight down and let's um, kind of start to change up the uh, the look of this. So I need to give it an edge inward like this. So let's just isolate this really quickly. What you should see is something like this. Okay. Actually, let's let's back up just one time really quickly. We pulled that down on both of those. Let me hold shift, pull that down. Okay. And then deselect this one right here and then hold shift and push that in in the Y. Okay. And then go to vertex mode and you want to target weld those vertices. So right click, target weld, we'll go from here to here. So that way it creates this little lip here. And then whenever we add Turbo Smooth, what you'll see is that it closes itself in over the top of that trunk there. Okay. Still have a little bit of a gap here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we can close that up. Um, if we need to, and I yeah, actually I do need to. Let me take this edge and let's hold down shift, let's drag it down and then we'll go to vertex mode and I'm going to right click and target weld this point to here and then let's take this edge and let's hold shift, drag that across like that and then I'm going to add a loop right across the top here so let's go to edit, swift loop add a loop right there and then we'll go to vertex mode, target weld, this point to here. So now if we go to uh, turbo smooth on that, we now have that edge and then we can drop that down a little bit. So vertex mode, let's select all the vertices across the bottom and then let's just pull that down, whoops, let's make sure we get all of them. Let's pull that down and maybe just push that in a little bit. It looks like we're just getting a little too far away right over here. I think I may have these vertices just too far out there. Yeah, it's just not following very well with the, the lip of that trunk. There we go. Okay. So now we have that closed in. I really just don't like that. I really don't like that at all. Let's do this. Let's round this off. Let's go to target weld. Let's target weld this point to here, th this point to here, and then we'll come across the bottom and do the same thing. Target weld here to here. Double click on that edge, backspace, double click on this edge, back control backspace. You'll see that kind kind of starts to round it off on that corner. And that seems a little more natural. Okay, and it actually it flows better into the the trunk itself. So go to your top view really quickly. And let's hide the car. So hide selection. And you can see that that is now fitting much, much better. So we'll take that may pull it over across just a little bit more to where it's close to that seam there. And then let's unhide all. And then let's actually lower it down a little bit. For some reason we're just still a little too high. So lower it down a little bit. To where it's kind of like that. And then go to your left view. You can go to vertex mode. You can lift all of these up if you want to kind of pull them out a little bit more. And there we go. Okay. So if something just doesn't look right to you, you know, you can make some quick design decisions on it and um, 
kind of work with it. You may want to take a look at like maybe a reference image or something like that to kind of help you out. But I think all in all, we've done a pretty good job here. Next thing I want to do is I actually want to affect my pivot, center it to my object, and then set the X value to zero on that so that way it's centered. I am going to take this outside corner. Notice how it's just not flowing into that very well. Let's hit F3. Select just that corner of vertices and let's pull that out a little bit more. And actually I think I'll pull it up some. Just like that. And then take these vertices here. Pull that out because I just want to see a little bit of that lip that's underneath that. I think it just adds to the how that attaches to that that tank there or the the trunk excuse me all right so that looks good I like the way that's uh, looking so far and how that's going into there so now let's go ahead and move on into our uh, rear details so the underneath of the car uh, we're going to basically build this out of a couple of different pieces section it out make it nice and easy uh, for us so we'll get started with that in our next lesson